I've got an infected server, as you can see here, Windows Server 2019, Exchange Server 2019. I've run the scanner, and we can see that it's been infected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a special scanner from Microsoft that allows us to remediate the issue and fix the Hafnium problem without having to patch the server. And we're going to use something called the Microsoft Scanner to do it. And here we can see the support.aspx file that we know shows that we have an infected computer. So let's go ahead and run the scanner, and then we'll see what happens to that file afterwards. I'm going to open up a web browser and go to the scanner site. I'll put the link to this site in the comments, but I'm going to download the 64-bit scanner, download the Microsoft Safety Scanner is what it says, save the file, and then we'll run it. Now, this doesn't install an application. What it does is it just drops the executable anywhere it is that you want to put it, and then it's going to allow you to run it without doing any kind of installation. And here's the executable. I'll go ahead and run it. We see this box pops up to accept the license agreement. And uh, according to the documentation, it's only good for 10 days after you download it. Click Next. We have Quick Scan, Full Scan, Customize Scan. I'm going to choose a Custom and click Choose Folder just to show you what's available here. So you can see that uh, it only chooses specific folders. It's not really an application-driven custom scan. I'll go ahead and choose the Full Scan option, and we'll let that run. I ran the full scan twice and it crashed the server twice. I then ran a quick scan and it didn't find anything. So this time I did a custom scan and I said to just scan the INET pub folder, which is where the infected file was or the file that had that support.aspx that was dropped in by the hacker. Now I don't know if that file is infected. However, looking at the text, it looks like it's just telling it to go look at a particular script that does cause infections. So if we take a look at view details of the scan, we can see it did find this exploit. It's the B exclamation point DHA exploit. And while we're waiting for that to come up, here we can see that it was removed. And going back to that ASP.NET client folder, that uh, support.aspx file is now gone. So it did find it. It did clean it. So that is excellent. It is a bit concerning that the scanner did crash the server a couple of times when running a full scan. So just focus on the INET pub folder, which is where the uh, hack is supposed to be anyway, and make sure it's removed from there before doing a full scan, and also making sure that you're not going to cause any outage to your users by doing a full scan if that's going to be a risk. So it says here that this particular threat is not only a virus, but it also installs other viruses. So uh, that's definitely uh, something to be concerned about. It uh, has to do with the Hafnium Exchange exploit. So basically what happened was is that the vulnerability allowed the Hafnium hackers to go in and drop in that support.aspx file. And that ASPX file actually called that uh, B exclamation point DHA uh, exploit. And what that exploit does is it creates and distributes new viruses. So this did successfully remove it, which is excellent. Just be sure to do a custom scan running on the INET pub folder. And it, before it runs the scan on that particular folder, it also scans the Windows folder and all the subfolders beneath that. So if the question is, does the Microsoft scanner get rid of the exploit from Hafnium? And the answer is yes.